right, so let's go ahead and cleanse the energy. I'll praise the most high. Thank you for the <laughs> Christ conscious truths that we can ask for today. Although today's topic is not very Christ like, so let me just let me just put that out there. Anyways. Anyways. We are going to talk about some very juicy tea today. I'm super excited, but first let me cleanse the energy. Hey, 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 hey. All praise the most holy and high. Thank you for protecting and covering this reading in the light of the abundant truths that we need to know today. Need to know or want to know? What really do we need, honestly? <laughs> Breathe in. And out. Oh, to do that as many times as you need, darling. We're going to release any ill will and intentions. May they be permanently removed at this very moment. Let's get into introductions. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Welcome back to Tarot with Tay. Welcome to the Tay Gang. If you've never been here before, make sure you hit the subscribe button as well as the bell to be notified every single time that. I pull up, okay? Much love, much life to you. Thank you for choosing and trusting me to be a reader. Thank you for clicking onto this video. If you'd like to donate to the channel, there is a P.O. box as well as a virtual tip jar linked in the description box down below, listed down below. And right above that, at the tippy top of everything, is the goddess of the unknown.com, which is where you can book a personal reading with me. So today's juicy topic is technically 18 plus so <clears throat> if you are not 18 plus you are not approved to receive this message <laughs> okay let's get to it um today's topic okay is a very interesting one let's talk about their sexual flashbacks with you okay let's talk about the sexual flashbacks with you what are they about how do they feel what are they triggered to then think about like does it make them want to be in a science some more like let's just let's just get into it yeah get into it yeah okay let's get into it yeah four groups right in front of you we have mystery stickers that will be revealed once you select your group but let's get into it yeah get into it y'all introductions y'all introduction yeah 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 okay if i'm being quite honest with you group one i don't remember the name of this he point and i'm not going to pretend that i do all right group number two citrine 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 i don't know why i feel the need to specify that i believe this is not natural citrine or something like that i don't know why I don't know why this is somebody needs to know that or wanted to know that anyways group number three moss agate group number three moss agate and group number four red cornelian so smooth do you see how smooth that is Alright. Feel free to pause the screen if needed to make your selections. And we're gonna go ahead and get started. Let's dive into the tea, baby. Let's see what it be thinking. 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 <laughs> okay. No more talking. Let's go ahead and get this itch on and pop it. Yeah. Alright, so group number one, if you selected this green tower, group number one, let's find out, let's find out their sexual flashbacks with you. What are they about? How do they make them feel? What are they triggered to then think of after that? Okay, so let's go ahead and get a feel for the energy. Let's get a feel for the energy. Okay. All right, so I'm immediately being brought to a difference in class or a difference in st 
status, uh, stature, like height, weight. There's a difference here. Uh, yeah, okay, so this could have been taking place outside. This could have been something very natural, or both of you were just in a very natural, relaxed state. This could have been after a workout. Um, this could have, I feel like this is something that occurred after something like after a main event like after a wedding reception or after a party or after dinner or after workouts after this after you know it was something like that that just kind of like sprung up here um it could have literally been outside for some of you i am getting like a very natural thing here like for some of you uh by like a body of water let's get one more from this deck Oh, whoa, okay. Uh, for some of you, this could have been like a, this could be role playing. It's always hard to tell with, um, with romantic readings like this, like sexual readings like this, because you don't know if it's like a fantasy, like a role playing, or if this is like realistic. So there could have been like this energy of like a stranger that you met on like a, a hiking trip or a hiking trail. Um, um there's something about like a missing person or something like this yeah okay so yeah i feel like this could have been role play for sure there's definitely a sense of role play coming through here um this could have been i see like multiple storylines blending here but the two main ones are something outside or something that occurred after a major event that may have taken place outside something about outside is major here or um it was like you guys were out in public together and then ended up together um and then on the other side is like this this role play this storyline of a missing person like someone putting on an act or a show or something like that um or even like someone bugging someone else okay that's definitely coming through all right so that's the opening energy here that's the opening energy but there's something here about a stark difference or a stark appearance here okay and those bugs keep wanting to come up the, um there could be some ah kundalini okay and i was looking at like the spiders and things here i just get this energy of something um kind of like mm, when I say dark, I mean kind of taboo is what it is. It's taboo. So let's look at your mystery sticker to tap further into this. We have don't worry, be happy. And I really keep getting this energy of like this is occurring after a major event, like after you guys were two guests at someone's wedding and you decided to come together afterwards or something like that or like during the event or something it's just it's something like that okay don't worry be happy and this is complete bliss okay yeah and i feel like someone feels as though one of you whether this is you or them feels like the other is out of their league like far too pretty far too educated far too this far too that your name could start with an r i'm hearing roger okay we have baby birth this person uh may call you baby or um britney spears could be relevant to you that could be like a um a signifier for the group that you're you're sitting in right now um, this could have been, this could be like a baby mother, baby father energy, um, or this could be how this person views you here. Okay, I'm getting this protective cub energy. So I do get that there's, um, there's some sort of foundation here, there's some sort of solid ground, solid footing in this connection. Like there, it may not be completely there might not be a label on it but it seems kind of exclusive like this seems like a um a committed linking or something of that nature here okay um or you guys have uh maybe grown up together or just you know a lot about each other and you just kind of stick together okay tell me what are this what is this person's sexual flashbacks what are they about so for some of you, this person thought about like potentially 
planting seeds here like this person like actually considered this for some of you this could have taken place in like um a watery like i'm being brought to i did not mention that i said like by a lake or something like that but water could have definitely been involved here um or some sort of like liquid like oil um lotion something of that nature um and nature is being heavily highlighted here like um, there's a lot of energy of like decorum and if it wasn't decor it was just rich earthiness around you so um, I'm being brought to like aromatherapy like maybe it was really um, like mossy and wet when if it did occur outside like maybe after the rain or something there's something about rain here for sure this is really giving me uh, commitment though uh, there's some form of commitment here like oh, this person only has eyes for you yeah the four of cups there's that energy so this i feel like your person is the one that feels smaller believe it or not i know that sometimes we all see ourselves um kind of inaccurately and there's that four of pentacles i said that solid foundation between you um i get that there's like longevity like at least time here i'm hearing literally four years okay for some of you it's four solid months like maybe there was a significant um experience in those four months that kind of brought you two together so this is very deep <laughs> the energy gets deep okay um let's see here yeah the seven of swords okay so whoa and then we have the six of wands see i told you this person feels so little small in comparison to you this person compares themselves to you a lot we have the knight of wands they feel like the only way that they can kind of um kind of make a difference is if they try to overcompensate so i'm getting this energy of someone who really goes out of their way to try to please you i feel like it could be because of maybe what you do in your day-to-day -day life or something like i don't know this person just looks like look at you like oh my gosh they're just so busy i want to i want to serve them i want to cater to them so there was like this this setup of maybe like this they like um found a babysitter this was a getaway okay this could have been something like that But their flashbacks are honestly very sweet and romantic, I have to be quite honest. I'm being brought to a Pisces masculine energy right now, or at least that's the energy that they resonate in. Sagittarius rising or sun. Someone could have a Sagittarius sun, like a child look i'm gonna try to get some more sexual energy here but honestly moving forward here okay so that same card came right back out okay so okay this is what i'm being brought to now as well is this storyline of someone who um was babysitting like you either you found a babysitter you guys went out on a date and then you came back home or you went back to a a airbnb or like a hotel or something like that to stay like this was something about a getaway like someone trying to like sweep you off of your feet like trying to cater to you quite literally like um um, a fun event like and even if there's no children involved i definitely get this energy of um someone feeling like you have this maternal energy yeah and they wanted to there we go cater to you so when they think of flashbacks they just think of like literally all that they were giving to you this is what turns this person on is how they can give to you um what they can do to you what they can do for you like um this person kind of like gets excited knowing that they did something that made you smile made you laugh made you peek made you um yeah made you scream made you squeal yeah that's definitely there okay so um i love how this this oh i love how this looks okay so this is like your physical being and it's like bleeding into your energetic body and it's like this person just they like when they can make you verbally express bliss okay um they they think about the squirming here there's like like uh giddy like squirmy energy like fidgety that's the word okay the number six could be relevant to you i'm getting that someone's birthday could be in june uh yeah the number six for sure 
okay yeah and Satan just came right back out again okay so there's definitely this energy of like okay now it's getting now it's getting to the nitty-gritty it started off like really sweet sensual romantic and just ooey gooey um like I said that Piscean energy but now um I'm being brought to Cancer Leo cusp kind of energy coming through right now and we have watch a movie so this could have been like a, a Netflix and chill energy or they could have felt like it was a movie but there's definitely um, emphasis on um, sounds and I want to say like sweat like sounds and and what what can i call that with i don't want to say the word secretion that just sounds nasty that just it sounds it sounds awful but that's what i'm saying i i already said it it's the sounds and the evidence that things are going well there we go let's see i don't know how far you can go on youtube so i just I'm gonna keep it as clean as possible all right three of pentacles yeah this person really like prides himself on making sure that they like they don't like when you're quiet this person like they get so frustrated when you're quiet they're like oh like i need to do something like so they might even like reach out and like spank you or something or like take the the roles as they as they come okay but i'm getting this energy of like if you get quiet you'll notice that this person tries to like do something extra to like get a reaction out of you like they're like uh-uh what do i need to see justice they're like uh-uh i need to get even i need to hear that sound i need to know that i am uh on point okay we have the knight of wands and the knight of cups here um it's a really sweet energy coming through though like a really sweet but really passionate at the same time and then we have the five of pentacles again it goes back to that like that heartbreak that I just feel beneath I feel too small I feel this I feel that there's some there's something lacking there um or they feel like I don't know they might even I feel like this person might beat themselves up about maybe like oh I should have done this or I could have done this or I should have went longer I should yeah the page of wands they're thinking about how they can do better next time like this person is very hard on themselves okay is what I'm getting here but they're it's because they literally just think about pleasing you and that's it that's that's it all right, so I'm going, to, I'm going to close out with a Black Moon Astrology card, okay? Um, your person just reminisces on getting that reaction out of you. Don't worry, be happy. They need that reaction, okay? They need some sort of reaction to know uh, that they are on the right track. They, this person really, um, you might be dealing with someone that has like a, like a look at me kind of personality or their sun sign could be like a fire sign or their moon could be a fire sign or their rising could be a fire sign um i'm hearing heavy emphasis on sagittarius but they need some sort of reinforcement to know that they are doing the right thing like satisfying because i'm getting like it's not that they're looking for like to to please just everyone it's just like when they when they go out of their way to please they want to make sure they're doing it well okay and we have mercury mind yeah this person is uh very logical here uh this person is very much in their head when it comes to you and this connection and your sexual flashbacks together um i feel like they think about this a lot quite often yeah yeah destiny wow yeah they think about um honestly how this is necessary for them like i don't know like there's something about something being really heavy on their mind here um but that that thing that's heavy on their mind is also what is drawing in on this kind of this two of pentacles energy because we have the three of pentacles and the five of pentacles sitting right next to each other and the difference is the two pentacles and it's like this that lack mentality like i love this but so there's something about this i love this but and it's like even here i feel like these two hands are like weighing some sort of option here um like mm, like weighing like maybe uh committing or not to commit or what this could mean you know or something like that like someone's really sitting with something weighing something okay but i when i tell you that you are of high honor and high regard in this person's life all they want to do is please you um i'm getting that this person could be very um is the word reclusive secluded like just a uh, kind of hermit to themselves okay um I'm get, like I'm really getting this energy of like they have a 
a, a strong facade on the outside that is blinding and and bold to everyone else but they're really soft like I'm being brought to like a turtle oh that's so cute like a turtle that um, kind of like just kind of takes its head back into its shell like uh, yeah like a turtle that green is kind of really highlighting right now okay oh yeah and the mercury mind the green the heart chakra um i don't know this per i feel like this person's kind of breaking out of something or breaking out of some sort of shell and you are helping but in a way that makes them have to take two steps back to take five steps forward oh my gosh the two and the five yes okay so yeah you're really helping them move forward but it's like um three steps forward two steps back but it's it's adding up event over time it'll add up so this is all that i have for you leave love in the comment section down below let me know if this resonated if it didn't maybe check another group or maybe this just isn't the reading for you but until next time take care of you all give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy leave love in the comment section down below share this video with a friend and if you would like to book a personal reading the very first link in the description box the goddess of the unknown.com is where you can book your personal reading today and you can also donate to the channel via p.o box or virtual tip jar which is right below the goddess of the unknown.com link but until next time, take care. Be well. Bye, group number one. Citrine. Group number two, Citrine. There seems to be something very casual about this connection or, or uh, I always say this when it comes to these 18 plus readings, they can always be um, double sided because it could be role play. So take that. Uh, it could be like role playing strangers or something like that. Um, I almost wanted to reveal this right away, but I was like, oh, uh -huh. like, let's, let's, yeah, so I think it's role play. Okay, that's interesting how that came out. Yeah, this is like trying to pretend that we don't know each other, okay? <sighs> All right, let's see. All right, so I'm being brought to solitude, solitude. I'm being brought to loner energy. Let's get some opening energy here. Oh, wow, that's a bold statement. Okay, so there could be some sort of emphasis on a catastrophe in role play. Um, there could be some emphasis on um, someone like blowing up someone's phone um, while they're at work with like images okay there's some emphasis here on new york city this could be talking about fashion this could be talking about buildings um historical monuments uh there's just something here about that okay i don't know why okay this is a trigger warning i don't know why i'm being brought to like literally the twin towers that's what i'm being brought to right now I, I feel like that's very relevant to someone um this could even be completely outside of the literal meaning of twin towers this could literally be like someone's like uh code word or something feeling trapped see you know i'm telling you they're like catastrophe energy here for sure um and someone needing to be the rescuer okay yeah yeah like research teams like there's some sort of emphasis here on a catastrophe someone being there to uh to rescue okay yeah now i'm being brought to uh yeah this is this is all acting this is acting okay okay interesting so i'm being brought to heavy emphasis on role playing but uh also heavy emphasis on sarcasm within this role playing so let me just let's look at this sticker together here we have mindful souls yeah didn't i talk about like the loner at the beginning the the solitary energy like this islander okay so there could be some sort of emphasis on like a, an islander that moved to new york okay or this could be like a, a storyline that you guys use okay um but there's definitely um higher connectivity in this connection let me just say that like this and like even if it is just casual it's more than that like this was divinely guided um i heard divinely sourced okay so yeah 
yeah, like this, whatever this dynamic is, it was meant to unfold in this exact way. Like when I tell you this was a part of the divine plan of your life and if you don't know why now, you will in the future. We have watch a movie flow like water. Okay. <laughs> okay. So we just hop straight to it, huh? We just hop straight into it. Oh my. Okay, so location could be anywhere, but oh my gosh, not playing doctor. <laughs> okay, location could be anywhere, not you pretending to be asleep. <laughs> okay. So, as I was saying, location could be anywhere. I'm getting this energy of, oh, some, the doctor was running late. The doctor is now here. The doctor is here to see you. Okay. So there's this emphasis on intelligence. Someone is turned on. Yeah. Like, there's sapiosexual energy coming through here. Like, despite labels and anything like that, it's really just someone who's turned on by like-minded individuals and intelligence. Yeah, exactly. The Knight of Cups, the Two of Cups. Feeling seen. Feeling, um, Wow. Like, I, I just heard feeling rewarded. Feeling rewarded, like, with a person. Let me see. Feeling rewarded with a person. Like, just what the doctor ordered. Okay, yeah, the hermit. I literally said, like, loners, hermit vibes. This is what I'm saying. Okay, so... Um, I don't know if this is role play or if I feel like for some of you it could be role play and for others of you this is like realistic but it's literally talking about um, someone feeling chased into their darkest moment or place in life and the very thing that chased them in there is also the very thing that lit that darkness up set that place on fire like lit it ablaze woke them up yes oh my gosh potential the fool so damn um there's this energy of like something that you might have said during like this role play like actually really inspired someone yeah the death card literally like really changed something or if this was like a casual um, hookup, it was like, I think it kind of took a turn for something different. Like that's, like I said, it was divinely, yeah, it was planned this way. The five of pentacles, the six of wands. What is this? The nine of wands. Exactly. It was lit the fool again. It was literally meant to play out exactly as it's playing out. I don't know what's going on here, but there's something going on here, darling. Yeah, there's something going on here, darling. I'm going to pull another row of cards because that's where it usually really gets interesting. Okay, so someone really likes the way that you smell. Okay, some of you get a little animalistic here. I'm getting like this energy. Shut up. I was literally just about to say like smelling the, the meat on their bones. Like I'm kind of getting like vampire energy. Yes, someone may have been role playing as a vampire. That's why that hermit, that loner energy was coming through. I was even picking up on like some Edward Cullen or like one of like, you know, vampire vampire diaries kind of energy here like maybe your doctor is actually a vampire okay and somehow you two end up intertwined connected um i feel like they there's something about someone changing like someone may have changed into a vampire here okay so there is a storyline about a vampire all right uh, we have take a walk here yeah yeah definitely like um this is like dark sensual alluring didn't i say someone like um welcoming someone into their darkness or like being chased into the darkness whichever way it actually occurred it's still this energy of like being alert into a darkness and then we have the tower here and then there's some like awe striking kind of change um that may have been doomed but it it wasn't okay and then it turns like sexual like there's like this 
this amping of energy and then it gets really slow and melodic okay this could be just oh my gosh not us describing emotions now oh wow okay and we have the fool card yeah so what i'm getting is that this experience since this person on the world went on a yeah the king of cups coming through here they can't keep up with the situation the five of pentacles it's like they're so enthralled in the moment that reflecting back all they can think about is the feeling and the motion there's also this energy here too that even if there wasn't like vampire role play i get this energy of like this person views you as like like i'm really getting this 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 shadow woman that is also an angel i don't know how to describe it but yeah like how she's in this black here like she may look harmful to others but she's harmless and she there's something about the perfect balance here what is that that i just saw yeah exactly eighth house energy some sort of deep scorpionic um energy coming through here heavy emphasis on mars and mercury uh there may have been some hair pulling as well or just emphasis on the hair Uh, also a lot of dressing up a lot of dressing up coming through because there's so many people watching there's so many different um storylines but like it could have been dressing up for like uh like this yoga thing or like medieval times or like my princess my vampire my my uh my like this one's giving me this energy of like that birthday that turns you from girl to woman from boy to man okay you know um and then there could have even been i don't know what this is but there could have even been like emphasis on like shifting skin tones okay um like alien like yeah because like the pale trying to be a vampire like yeah the skin tone there's something there's some emphasis there as well um or just like emphasis on makeup here so oh maybe you had on makeup this time okay and maybe you usually don't yeah there's something that this person got to see more of um that's coming through here this person is very yeah exactly mindful in a way that again so present that reflecting back on it they can only hyper fixate on certain moments this person is very analytical in the sense that they focus on little differences that make a big difference like just in the way that you move or in the way that you speak or in the way that you like would kiss them or the way that you would like shift positions or there i don't know that like there's this there's something that this person saw within you that changed that shifted from the last time they saw you or the last time that they knew you and that just turned them on i don't know what that is okay now we have this uh black moon astrology card that's going to close it all off um i i pulled out as much energy as i could these these messages are not coming through as like intensely sexual as i wanted them to be but i mean i guess i kind of should have expected that on this channel we get very deep and theoretical and intellectual with it so i could have only expected this it's, whatever the messages come as the messages come and maybe the more that we do these types of videos we will dive deeper and also youtube guidelines so your black moon astrology card oh my gosh saturn truth wisdom exactly this group right here is not so much focused on the sexual acts but more so the intention what it means okay bottom of the deck taurus i have exactly like it means that i hold you close oh okay okay someone someone has some deep intense feelings here deeper more intense than you may even know i think that that's yeah like this saturn truth this this serious energy like i feel like someone's someone sees you spiritually more than you know ah and that just brought me to this this person dressed here in this white like i feel like this person knows that you are angelic in a sense oh my gosh shut up this person just came through was like i'm gonna tell that ass and they showed me <laughs> that's funny okay yeah so 
there was definitely um I'm getting like serious intense vibes from this group like really intense I don't know if it's from your side or their side I think it's you that they like there's something about docile or domicile or something about them taming you And I'm not getting this in a degrading way at all. It's like this eye keeps highlighting like their their spirit can see what your spirit needs and gives it right to you. Truth. No BS, no extra, no no less like and I get that you may hold this person in high regard too with this king of cups. Like you feel like this person actually has the power to kind of soothe you um spiritually emotionally it's it's focusing on your your spiritual your your emotional body you feel satisfied here um and it's because of some sort of truth here yeah and the number six that i was talking about the emotional body and we have the hermit here like there's a deep sense of tranquility that this connection has that dips you into a tranquility that is so deeply intense that it takes you into that transformative energy of the death card like you see so deeply into the other that it shifts something within you and then that shifts shifts somebody else and then it's just i don't know how to explain it but there's a lot going on on the mental plane between you two in this connection again it's way more divine than you even give it credit for i believe for most of you but that's neither here nor there. Thank you so, so much for tuning in, Citrine. I hope you enjoy. Leave love in the comment section down below. Share this video with a friend and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy. And if you would like to donate to the channel, there is a PO box as well as a virtual tip chart in the description box. And right above that is the goddess of the unknown.com, which is where you can book your personal reading. But this is all that I have for you, Citrine. Until next time, take care. Be well. Bye. Group number three. Moss Agate, what did y'all do? What did y'all do? Wait, what did y'all do? Because it's, for some of y'all, this was in somebody's dreams. For some of y'all, y'all are haunting someone's dreams sexually. It's something, something. Are you doing that on purpose? I, I don't know. I feel like some of y'all might be doing that on purpose. Let me know down in the comments, okay? let's let's get a vibe let's catch a vibe here what's going on group number three their sexual thoughts we have elderly people oh this is bringing me to what the song that i was thinking about earlier and i'm so sorry that i had to do this to you but i love you and i'm so sorry that I had to do this to you. Mm. Okay, there's something about a disturbance. Something about a disturbance. And that song, okay, there's a lot of chaos going on here. I feel like it's some drama. Someone was married or recently divorced or this this connection could have been a, res a result of something. Yeah, like someone, midlife crisis energy. There's something about a midlife crisis. Midlife crisis energy. Ah, <sighs> fuck. Oh, wow. Why Why did that come through like that? Someone's having a midlife crisis. Yeah, see? Someone's like washing their face. They're like, they're trying to cleanse their energy. Yeah, okay, okay. Okay. What the hell is going on here? All right, so I'm being brought to... A man that is potentially married with children not necessarily that can't seem to stop thinking about someone that they shouldn't be thinking about maybe a work person that they know or someone that they know used to work for them or someone that they watched grow up blossom someone that they might consider family whoa okay let's look at this sticker because okay let's see we have whales oh yeah and this is giving me like mirroring oh something made me want to rip this in half 
this could have had something to do with like a cheating partner okay like there's some uh or like the, if it was a dream okay let's just let's 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 go Yeah, okay, this person was not in control of the situation, which makes me believe that this was a dream. Okay, so Spirit says, I don't care what the title of this video says, we're going to come out with what we want to say. This was a dream, okay? Or for some of you, maybe it was a role play, a fantasy. So, okay, yeah, so someone's car like ran off the road, caught on fire, very dramatic of you. Or for some of you, this was like um, off-road, like mudding, camping, something like that. Yeah, plan a vacation, okay? I'm being brought to very calming energies. So this was something that started off really calm, cool, collected, and chill. I'm being brought to a, a twist of fate, dog. I'm being brought to a twist of fate. Like, this is a storyline that started off very calm, cool, and collected. Now, for some of you, this is the sexual act. This is the flashback that comes back to them. It started off real calm, cool, collected. Nobody was thinking of anything. Yeah, like, calm, cool, collected. Literally, temperance comes out here. See, the warrior of wands. No one was thinking of this situation, okay? But then we have this three of cups until the queen of wands comes through. I don't know. What's going on here? And then there was a, an intense feeling of dissatisfaction. Oh, for some, it's like they were entering a connection or close to entering a connection and they saw you and they were like, oh, do I really want to settle? Do I really want to settle? See, the three of pentacles, the five of wands, exactly. Am I really happy with what I have? There's something about questioning, am I happy with what I have? And you see how all these cards keep coming out. I ain't asked for all this energy. There's a lot of thoughts being invoked here. Okay, there we go, the Six of Swords. A conclusion. I have not been making choices for myself up until this point. Someone's coming to a conclusion. See, the sun. Page of Wands. Someone wants more liveliness, the Seven of Pentacles, but they're waiting on something, the Four of Swords. Waiting on the perfect opportunity. Now, let's see, what are the flashbacks? What are the sexual images, descriptions that kind of come through here? Okay, so this is definitely talking about, I completely lost control. I could, look, completely lost control of myself. I completely lost control of all things grounding and all I did was just give into my passions and one thing led to another and now we're over here a few feet away from my family or whomever cougar yeah there's definitely something about someone being older here something about an age difference someone and there's this white feeling like someone's oh overstepping boundaries territory like this is like someone feeling like they're overstepping a an age bound um an age boundary yeah but i think this is exactly bro thank you spirit because i was just about to say i think this is in their head literally it has 12 to 21 i feel like this person may have known you from this time dang so it's like they, they you you look for fairies they're looking at you like yo i used to be around this person like playing hopscotch with them and helping them look for fairies and shit and now I'm over here in a relationship with them or yeah or I'm over here fantasizing about them or oh I'm over here thinking about doing this for them or 
or I'm over here having dreams about them. Like it, it could have been completely innocent too. So for some of you, this is something that you don't even know occurred. So we have the death card, the three of swords and the four of wands. Oh wow, okay. There's something about a broken home there. Okay, what is this? The knight of swords in the reverse here. Now we're going back to, didn't I say something about I wasn't making choices for myself, something like that. Three of Cups. There's definitely an emphasis here. Okay, so I feel like there's uh, regret. Um, regret, but because, because, regret because they're like, I really wish that I didn't do that, but I'm glad that I did it. And so they regret that, like they regret that feeling. Yeah, exactly the five of swords. There was that, so this is definitely like a cheating situation or just they feel like they overstepped some boundaries or something along those lines here. They're like so mad that it was so great that it shouldn't have occurred. That's just, uh, there's there's a lot of inf information, energy. There's just a lot going on here. Yeah, there's like a three way, the ace of pentacles here. Ah, uh, wow. Yeah, okay. So in terms of when they think back to this, it's really just emphasis on like, that was very impulsive of me. Um, and I'm getting like this twin flame energy, like just because it was like so drawing. Yeah, and I just saw the first house, which represents the body. Um, and it's just like, <laughs> my mind's telling me no, but my body. My body's telling me yes. Okay. Yeah. Let's get a Black Moon Astrology card to close off this reading. Any closing thoughts, spirit? This person may try to distance themselves from you um, in between these excursions. Or like just if it didn't happen in real life, this person will distance themselves from you because they had this dream. Um, and they feel like icky or ashamed or something like that okay and again it's not literal uh age it's metaphorically speaking they watched you evolve from potentially 21 i mean from 12 to 21 all right <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay um, for others of you though, this could have also been like a storyline of uh, role playing about some sort of like uh, running away, okay? And we have 11th house friends. Yeah, like I feel like this person feels like they shouldn't have crossed that line. Okay, exactly. Love. You literally have friends in love and I just feel like... <sighs> There's three people here in this image. there's definitely some sort of third party situation going on here and i'm getting with these two whales here one of the people in this situation holds more weight than the other but there's still something tying them to the other person this could be some sort of formal commitment or this could be anything. This could be work. This could be a person, place, or thing. But I am definitely, I'm, I feel like if it's not another person, it could also be fear from the way a connection ended in the past with another person. They're fearing this happening moving forward here. So take it as it resonates, but this is definitely some sort of third party situation, whether the third party is fear, another person, or another commitment. <clears throat> but. Um, this is all that I have for you. Please enlighten me in the comment section down below. There were so many energies coming through here. I tried to tap in as much as I could. I hope you enjoyed. Um, leave love in the comment section down below. Share this video with a friend and give this video a thumbs up if you like. And if you would like to donate to the channel, there is a PO box as well as a virtual tip jar in the description box. And you can also book a personal reading by hitting the very first link in the description box at goddessoftheunknown.com. But until next time, take care. Be well. I'm lost at it. <laughs> okay. Uh, red carnelian. Red carnelian. Um, I, just, I, I was hearing, please stop. And I just kept hearing, please stop. And I was like, 
okay please stop what why and they're like please stop before i tell my mom that i want to marry you i'm like what so there are some emotions involved here you got me feeling emotions deeper than i've ever dreamed of oh, oh. you got me feeling see look look okay so i'm getting aesthetics here i'm getting okay so first of all someone feels like you match their fly someone feels like you're just really beautiful like flowers like beautiful um they feel like you bring light into their home okay this could be like sneaky link kind of vibes here you may have shown up in pink before or just something really beautiful like natural um some neutral tones coming through or this could be like your skin or something like baby soft skin it's something about your skin is soft just everything about you is so soft and you just look so good and you just you just feel so good see look like you see the colors that keep coming through here and it's nudity wow okay so this person thinks like so highly of you what their flashbacks are so like they're admiring you like they're they're <laughs> praising you yeah okay so like i just keep hearing so damn pretty so damn beautiful so i just heard remarkable okay and i feel like see like this person they want to give you like money they'll be like will you will you just will you stay right here if I just shower, I want to shower you with things. This person wants to shower you with things. Okay, like I'm getting this energy of like spoiling you. Okay, now I'm being brought to like feet and bubble baths. Okay, this person might like your feet. Um, all these pink. I don't know what it is about these pink colors, but pink, like the salmony pink, is some uh some of you. It's <laughs> talking about your lady bits there we go i don't know how much i can say on youtube okay so let's go ahead and expose your sticker and then get into it we have ah oh, shut up didn't i say spoil you spoiler god wins Ooh, oh what is this Someone's like shopping, doing research. <laughs> Someone's falling. And they're going through a lot. What is this about? What is this about? What are their flashbacks about? There we go. More of those damn colors. Okay. Let me look at the back of these cards and see what they make me think of. Suggest attention to detail. If you dream you're a celebrity or are intimate with someone famous, this may indicate your desire for greater attention or success. Okay, so this person feels like you are a star. Okay, and this person feels like, yeah, and nudity, like, oh, wow. Okay, so this person thinks that you are so magnificently attractive, magnificently attractive, that you are like, our material love okay yeah like they feel didn't i say fallen and i can't get up like they don't want to get up okay for some of you you may have um some some hair okay this person like i'm getting like it's like sparse like you may have like you you trim it or you do something it's it's kept up we have the lifting of restrictions after a period of confinement okay um mm. For the feminine energies, uh, tight is is a word coming through. Hot is a word coming through. Okay, I just heard successful. Okay, all right. Yeah, this person really puts you up on a pedestal. And notice how the carnelian stone is the same color as that shirt. This person really feels you energetically. Like speaking from a spiritual place. Yeah, look at that. Write a gratitude list. <laughs> They're like. 
when I wake up in the morning, the first thing I do is thank God that I met you. Like, <laughs> the seed journal, oh my gosh, this person, like, you're engraved in their energy. No matter what this connection is, you're engraved in their energy. Yeah, the Four of Swords and Ten of Wands. Um, there's this deep sense of peace here. <sighs> I look this looks like someone signing a signature like an autograph like a big you're a your fan like this person comes through as like a fan yeah and then we have the god card this is a uh, judgment awakening spirit of cups at the bottom of the deck that's the king of cups um and i just heard you and i just saw the king of pentacles uh i just heard you don't need me then we have the Knave of Wands, and that turns me on. <laughs> oh, God, that's so funny. Okay, so, oh, wow, and we have the Queen of Cups. Holy shiz. We have the King and Queen of Cups sitting right next to each other at the bottom of the deck here, being emphasized by judgment and the Page of Wands. Oh, my gosh, I just saw the Elderly card. let's let's continue on what are their flashbacks about what are they like you bring so much color to this person's world here um i feel like in this i feel like in this situation this person could be well sought after but they really want you okay um if you dream your partner is cheating the likely interpretation is more obvious relating to your own feelings of insecurity or of being sidelined in some way that you need to address in real life. Okay, so this person could have wondered if you had other people around and I feel like they may have found out that you didn't and this made them really fucking happy <laughs> to know that there was like no, no competition or something. Okay, and we have the phone here. There's something about um, no phones there was like no phones no phones and there was a short sweet conversation that occurred that meant something to this person we have sing here okay all right so now we're being brought to your voice this person really likes your voice you said something to them that said something to them that made them grateful to know you to be grateful that they were alive okay and then yeah health checkup see like i don't know it's something about you that's like mentally cleansing for this person's energy like you feel like a, a reset a refresh to them um you guys could have been in a rush here Uh, I'm getting a lot about eyes closed, eyes closed, eyes closed. I feel like this person was looking at you a lot. Um, I'm being brought to like missionary. So um, this person was looking at you a lot, like your face a lot. There could have been a lot of like uh, intimacy, like kissing or things of that nature. But yeah, like I feel like this person feels like you were kind of detached from them in a way. Um, like you were like yeah i was getting that energy of like it was like something that was quick like maybe you had to be somewhere they had to be somewhere the knight of cups but it was still like soft it was still sweet it was romantic with the page of wands here you have the page of wands showing up twice okay so you guys make each other feel like giddy teenagers like quite frankly um i'm getting that the energies here are very much reciprocated holy shit look the king of cups comes out again in a different deck okay and with the five of pentacles and i'm really getting that this is this energy of um it hasn't been expressed or verbalized um in some way shape or form like it's just been passion 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 yeah and then we have the page of swords and a lot of watching yeah and then i see the five of swords there's a lot of knights and pages here um but i'm i literally am looking at the ace of cups though like and I, oh my gosh and i just saw judgment again like there's something going on here oh my gosh i'm being brought to her shoe and it just made me think of cinderella okay wow the hermit oh it's almost as if they don't know how to put into words 
Yeah. What they don't know how to put into words, they put into their stick. <laughs> what is this? The Four of Pentacles. I'm telling you, someone's holding back. Didn't I say that they, they, be, they be looking when your eyes are closed? Like, they're examining you. They're, they're, they're paying attention. They're, they're really enthralled. Yeah, the Ace of Pentacles. Like, they're really invested. Oh my gosh, the Empress. The Five of Swords. You have no idea. You have no idea. The Seven of Wands. Yeah, you literally, you have no idea how highly this person thinks of you. The Ten of Swords. I feel like you're over here thinking like, this person isn't even into me. Da, 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 da. Three of Swords. They're just going to break my heart like everybody else. When in fact, the King of Swords, exactly, they haven't expressed it. Like, they know exactly how they feel, but they're like, short and terse. Like, uh, there's something about this person being highly inte intellectual, logical, and yeah, the 11th house friends. Um, that's why the spoiler God wins is here because I feel like you may feel some sort of something going on here. And that's because it is. I just feel like it's taking its time to unfold. Let me, let me get, oh, wow, okay. I'm gonna look at these. Oh my gosh, the North Node is at the bottom of the deck, guys. I'm gonna look at these because I feel like they're relevant. So we have Neptune, Sacrifice, which is Piscean energy. We have Chiron Healing, which is Aries energy. This is uh, March, April cusp, okay? Um which at this current moment i'm actually filming on that cusp so that could this could be a relevant time to you um no matter when you're tuned into this we have black moon lilith exactly that mysterious feeling that you're like i don't know what's going on here exactly these mysterious i just said mysterious feelings i don't know what's going on here oh my gosh seventh house partners there's a match here There's definitely a match here. Like, yeah, with the North Node at the bottom of the deck, there's definitely a match here. But there's just mystery behind these these feelings, these emotions. Maybe Cancer season, like, um, Cancer energy, that Cancer Leo energy is coming through. The cusp there could be relevant. Okay. There's something significant with this partnership, though. There definitely is. I feel like there's like, like even if it isn't, can, like even if it's not strictly a romantic connection, I feel as though there's something that you two are meant to create. Yeah, spoiler, God wins. Exactly. Like it's something that no one, no one knows about right now. Okay. No, no one knows about it right now. Maybe some of you do. I don't know. But it's just like this energy of. And it's so interesting. Spoiler, God wins right over the judgment card. Come on. There's some sort of transformation taking place in this connection that is vital to both of your paths. Something about taking a chance, dodging a bullet, swallowing the pill. All right, let's get one Black Moon Astrology card to close out this reading. I intended for these readings to be a lot more sensual than they were, but okay, we have Black Moon Lilith Mystery coming out with Aries energy. So um, something about this mysterious energy, there is going to be some sort of breakthrough, some sort of continuance here. Uh, yeah, and then we have Leo at the bottom of the deck. So Aries and Leo could be significant signs for you. Um, wow, right behind that is the ninth house, Faith. What is this speaking out? We could, we, oh my gosh, North Node again. And Void, of course, Moon missing. There's just something missing. But as soon as that comes together, man, oh man. Let me get just one card. I don't know what's going on here, but there's a significant start it, stardom, startup here. Okay, and we have earth element stability. 
some significant grounding in this connection. There's something second house owning. So this could have something to do with building finances is the significance here or the illumination of some sort of value here. Um, there's some sort of like learning experience coming through. I just heard technological advancement. Okay, so um, yeah, I intended for these readings to be a lot more dirty, um, but that's really not coming through here. Maybe I'll have to try to, I, I don't even know, but um, I'm just kidding that this connection, the message I wanted to come through is more so about um, what is grounding here. Because remember, we started off with this like flying without wings card and now we're ending with earth element stability. So it was like this leap on faith and God came in in, in, in the in between and something, I feel like something's being remixed, something's being... Um, I just heard we accounted for let's let's get some clear oh my god are you kidding me guys the king of cups the two of wands and the queen of cups are you kidding me that's feelings that's that's a future unfolding right there like okay so no matter what's going on in this connection that's why spirits like we're not even gonna talk about what what it what happened y'all know what happened it was good okay we had fun it was i get though that it was a quickie i feel like it was more so about what it grounded oh my gosh the ace of pentacles what it started what it manifested or what it's doing um can i get some clarity on what it's doing okay can i get can i get something on what it's doing what what is this <sighs> car out of control or speeding it's helping you find direction yeah and i just saw the uh that travel right there helping helping find direction uh that getting grounded to find direction okay it, oh my bro wedding marriage just came out here get out get out of here i'm done get out i can't make this up what the fuck we have money so there's definitely some sort of significant um abundance coming to this connection to this group um even if you don't see this right now there's something unfolding here whether this ends up being like a love story or maybe this ends up being like we started this nonprofit and saved a billion people's lives like i don't know but either way there's something being birthed here and wow it's got a lot of peace and money written all over it okay so i'm gonna go ahead and leave this reading right here um and we will intend for more sexual readings next time but this is what wanted to come out for you red carnelian until next time take care be well bye